and now I am actually probably on my last of two holes on this. I centered it. I've uh, got pretty much even side walls going up the side here. I got a little bit of clay you can kind of see down here, so I'm gonna mm -hmm. use my hands here, and again, I'm kind of going like, like this on the inside, and trying to get a little bit more of this clay that's at the bottom moved up the side a little bit here, so. And holding it as close to being in the middle as I possibly can. sort of not used to working at this distance. I'm usually like, ah. <laughs> my face is always right on it. There we go. My last time, I can tell I'm getting a little thin down here at the bottom. But maybe I can get a couple more inches of height out of the whole piece of clay. So my hands aren't quite touching, obviously, because otherwise I'd have pushed a hole through there. Now I'm going to use this sponge here and wipe up the extra water that I have kind of around the bottom. Uh, get this trimming tool here. I'm going to trim a little bit off the outside at the bottom. Give my piece of pottery a foot. Then I'm going to use the side of this thing and use my hand on the inside and kind of just smooth out my lines a little bit and give it one last shaping over. I flare it out just a little bit at the top for a rim. Sponge again, using it to kind of mop up the top. There you go. All right. Wire tool. Cut it underneath. That's it. Now set it and let it dry for a while and push it into a kiln. Okay.